What's up everybody? Idiot at Play here for the fourth edition of What's in the Box. Today we're taking a look at the Marvel Collector's Core. Now this is a box that's powered by Funko, the company that makes the Pops and Mystery Minis and all those other great toys that I have all over my living room. Now this box is called Women of Power, as you can see right there on the front. And it's all about the magnificent superheroines that are part of the Marvel Universe. And you can see right on the top the Spider-Gwen drawing. And I'm really glad that the mailman didn't put a sticker on top of it like they did the Secret Wars box and ruin that awesome art. So that's definitely a plus. So anyway, why don't we go ahead and take a look at what's in the box. Well, that wasn't very exciting, but it did give us a chance to look at the patch and the pin that come with every collector's core box. So the patch is the new Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan, Marvel's newest teenage superhero, actually hails from Jersey, my home state, fun fact. So it's really cool because we don't have much Kamala Khan stuff out on the market yet, so I'm really excited that she was represented in the Women of Power box. And the pin is Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew. Just a little pin back, it says Collector's Core on it. Pretty cool though that they did decide to go with an old school superhero like Spider-Woman. Definitely falls under the Women of Power, so it makes sense. So now, we have a t-shirt. Now these are pretty much standard for Collector's Core boxes, but what's really cool is what the shirt is. Spider Gwen. Now, Spider Gwen, of course, is Gwen Stacy from an alternate reality. She gained the Spider Man powers and becomes Spider Girl. But everybody just calls her Spider Gwen. Again, she's fairly new, so there's not much merch of her out on the market. So, having a t shirt like this, really cool. We have a comic book. We have Civil War 2, number 1, with the Funko Pop Collector's Core variant cover. Now, as you can see, it's got Captain Marvel, Elektra, Valkyrie, Spider-Woman, and Ms. Marvel. Ironically, two Carol Danvers, but we'll let that one slide. So I haven't been reading Civil War 2, I'll admit, um, but I do like Funko Pops. I do like uh, superheroines. So I'm um, real excited to add this to my comic collection. And next we have Mystery Mini. That's a little odd that they just tell you what's in the Mystery Mini box, but you know what? It's still pretty cool. As you can see, it's nicely sculpted. It is a bobblehead like all the Marvel Funko stuff. But um, good choice to put in the Women of Power box for sure. Um, She-Hulk definitely ranks as a Woman of Power. And not one that's been represented in the Funko line until recently. So i um, very excited to add this to my shelves. And what else do we have? Another mystery mini. Again, not a mystery. It is Captain Marvel. With this new costume, there's now starting to be a lot more representation of her on the collector's market. But having a mystery mini, I'm pretty excited for it. So like the She-Hulk, it is a really good sculpt. Not very dynamic in the pose, but I do like that they gave her the energy blast hands. That's definitely a nice touch. Just a shame that it is a bobblehead like every other Marvel Funko piece, but I guess that's just how it is. Just like every other collector's core, there is a Funko Pop in the box, and this one is 
Squirrel Girl. I never would have thought that I would own a Squirrel Girl figure, but here I am. And not only that, I'm excited to have it. Now, not only is it Squirrel Girl, but you also get another mini pop of Tippy Toe, Squirrel Girl's squirrel sidekick. And as you can see, they're both sculpted with the tails. And Tippy Toe even has the bow on the back of her neck. So, right here, just makes the entire collector's core box worth the price of admission. One really nice thing about the collector core boxes is the art that's on the inside. This art here has a whole bunch of uh, superheroines in action. Spider-Gwen, She-Hulk, Ms. Marvel... Even characters not represented in the box, like Medusa, Black Cat, and Black Widow. So it's definitely a really nice touch. And that is it for the Women of Power Marvel Collector Core box. If you want to start getting the Collector Core for yourself, I'll put a link down in the description of the video. Uh, it is a bi-monthly, well, every two-month box, and it's $25 plus shipping, so it's right around 30 bucks. Um, but you get all of that cool stuff like the pop and the t-shirt and some other neat things thrown in there that varies from time to time. Thanks for watching What's in the Box. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And also you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Idiot at Play. And also like the Facebook page, Caution Idiot at Play. As always, I'm Mike, the Idiot at Play. And you've been watching What's in the Box.